Now, the reason fasting and time-restricted eating works so well is because once you train your body to go these longer distances without food, it becomes extremely easy to just to do it. <laughs> you don't feel hungry anymore. I And it heals your gut for anyone getting started on OMAD is instead of focusing on a one-hour eating window and a 23-hour fasted window to begin, you can actually focus on a 20-hour fasted window or a 21 hour fasted window and then do like a three to four hour eating window and treat it like multiple courses. That seems to be very helpful for beginners. And I did this myself in the beginning and that worked very well for me. It was one main meal, but then I had like an appetizer and a dessert sort of sort of deal, okay? This was also before I started tracking calories. Once I started tracking my calories and then I was like, you know what? The one hour eating window really does help me stay within 1300 calories without having to restrict my food too much. Then that was when I was like, I'm going for a 30 day. I'm gonna track this, I'm gonna write it down every day. I'm gonna keep it together. Now the next thing I did with OMAD was I used specific tools to help me make it these longer distances of fasting and also to make fasting easier and to boost the appetite and hunger control. So. My exact strategy of what I did while focusing on fat loss, especially within those first 30 days, is every single day I did the exact same thing. One hour before breaking my fast, I had a ketone infused protein shake, shaken with ice and water, and I had that to ease me back into my eating window. Now, this product is actually created to be consumed fasted. So technically, you're getting the benefits continued on of the fast. In my mind, I'm staying fasted. So I'm keeping my fasted window going. I would do that, I would drink that one hour before my meal and then I would have my meal and I would track everything in an app to make sure I'm staying in a calorie deficit. And then at the beginning of my next fast, I would have a decaf ketone. I'm using the decaf ketones about two hours after my meal. I'm drinking that with ice and water to help prime my next fast because the most difficult time to get through fasting for most people, and especially for me, is nighttime when you are used to eating large meals. My largest meal of the day used to be dinner, and now it's lunch because I'm focusing on this early time restricted eating pattern. So with eliminating dinner, I actually cut about 1,500 extra calories out of my day. Now, I could never burn 1,500 calories at the gym. Working out is great and I do work out, but with OMAD, you just want to be focusing on your eating window and if you struggle to stick to that eating window, deploying tools like ketones while you're fasted, remember you do not have to follow the keto diet to use ketones, I don't. And I think that's one big misconception people have. They think ketones are made for the keto diet. It is not, it's actually the opposite because it gives you the benefits of a carb restricted lifestyle as far as you're gonna experience the appetite control, the hunger control and all of that, the energy, the mental clarity without actually having to restrict those carbohydrates because carbohydrates, especially when you're doing these longer fasts are extremely beneficial. Your brain can only utilize 50% ketones. The other 50% has to come from carbs. And if you're not eating carbs, what's going to happen is your body's going to take the protein that you are eating and it's going to convert it into glucose for your brain, which is called gluconeogenesis. And if you're eating one meal a day, you're not going to be eating that much protein in general. And so you really don't want to use that protein to turn it into glucose for your brain. It just makes more sense to eat a balanced lifestyle. And while with OMAD, you can eat whatever you want, this is what led me to just eating a balanced food flexibility lifestyle, abandoning diets and just eating whatever I want as long as I make sure I'm eating protein with that meal, not restricting macros in any way. Now, some of the benefits um, of OMAD besides just the calorie restriction, which does lead to the, the weight loss, the reduced weight, but also OMAD's gonna boost your productivity 
productivity because during those long hours when you are fasted, you should be extremely productive because you have those higher level of ketones that your body is producing naturally, even if you are consuming carbs in that one meal. And the, the long stretch of time without any food allows your glucose to drop and that's gonna allow your insulin to drop as well. And I switched away from the creams in my coffee because those things activated my digestive system and would make me hungry. So I do black coffee, but I do it iced because iced coffee, that's black, <laughs> is not as bitter. And you can even cut it with more water to just make it diluted. I drink my coffee for the energy boost of the coffee, not for the experience of drinking coffee. Now this brings me to a very important piece of this whole thing. I know it's gonna be tempting when you first start OMAD to literally stuff yourself, <laughs> but you're not going to feel good the rest of the night and you're going to feel tired and you're not going to be productive later in the day. You get so stuffed, you can't do anything the rest of the day. So that is something that you kind of learn over time through doing this and you realize like, I will eat again. This is not my last meal. <laughs> this is not my last supper. The increased focus, that's gonna come when you just eat a normal sized meal for your meal and you stop eating when you're full. And then you open up your fasted window and, and this is where it makes it so easy with the calorie restriction because once your window is closed, it's closed, it's done. There's no question of, am I hungry? Should I eat this? Should I eat that? It's just done and it makes it so easy. There's very little planning involved here. <laughs> you just open and close your window. Now, I... um. I have also found that it's definitely improved my gut health because when you give your body a like long stretch of time when you're not eating anything, you, it allows your gut to heal. And this is a very good way for your good gut bugs to flourish and to kind of starve out your bad gut bugs. And so over time, it's going to get easier and easier. Fasting these long durations also improves the autophagy, it promotes cellular regeneration. There's really only two main rules of OMAD. Eat one meal a day, no grazing, no snacking, ideally 23 hours fasted with a one hour eating window. And rule number two is try to stick to the same schedule daily. Now, the reason you wanna to stick to the same schedule daily is because of training your hormones. Your body gets the picture and it will stop releasing those hunger hormones. So eventually it becomes easier and easier and easier and easier. If you utilize tools like ketones in your fasted window, this is also gonna help you train those hormones quicker and it'll make it much easier for you. I did create a package and a kit for those who want to do exactly what I'm doing with the protein infused ketone an hour before breaking your fast, easing you back into your eating window, and then the nat ketone at the beginning of your fasted window. Or you can even put these things at places where you normally have meals when you feel hungry. If you start feeling hungry, utilize those tools at that time. I created that for you and I do have a discount code in the description below and you can get 10% off your order on that. So check that out. Do you need to count calories with OMAD? You do not, and that's one of the best parts about OMAD is that it is so flexible because it's going to be extremely difficult for you to overeat with OMAD, um, especially as you start doing it regularly. And um, But for many people, they actually like to have a little bit of that control, at least at first, just to make sure that they're in that calorie deficit. So it's really optional for you. I like to count calories while doing OMAD, while my goal is fat loss, because I want to make sure <laughs> that I'm gonna lose a fat. But if you're looking for a lifestyle that allows you that freedom to not have to count calories and to eat whatever you want, and it, and eating whatever you want does give you that ca that uh, carrot at the end of the stick, right? Like it's like, okay, I'm going through these longer fasted durations, but at the end of the day, I can eat whatever I want. I have complete food freedom, right? It's that yin and that yang. You're feasting and you're fasting. You're giving your body long durations of time where you're dropping insulin, and that drop in insulin is a allowing you to tap into your stored body fat for fuel and you can be at a calorie deficit without impacting your metabolism in a negative way by utilizing the fasting in combo with the calorie restriction. 